What's up, everybody, and uh, welcome to a uh, another Minecraft mod pack that I'm probably not going to see all the way through, but I wanted to play and uh, show you guys uh, uh, just a cool mod pack. Um, if you guys actually want to see someone very talented do this, Dire Wolf is currently doing this pack. That's why I got interested in it, and I was like, I want to try this. I, I really liked stone block uh i love a sky block pack and this is kind of the natural progression this one's an ocean block i don't know if you guys can read um i have not asked every single one of you yet but uh if you can that's what this word mean or sorry if you can't that's what this word means right here that's ocean block um so the whole deal is you guys understand sky block all that stuff it is all the same um stuff it's just you're in an ocean and the ocean is apparently pretty dangerous so you have uh, a main island that you got to start off with um so that's uh what i think i'm gonna do i'm probably gonna do the original island uh just so we can play the way that uh it was intended but the other ones here um <laughs> Obviously, this one is a little bit more extreme. Honestly, if this was like my second time playing this pack, I probably would try one of these. Uh, not necessarily easy starter pack, but the globe one. That sounds awful and uh, sounds like something that would be a very interesting. Maybe I will do a stream of this one if you guys are liking this one. But as of right now, I think we're just going to go with the default one. Um, Oh, wow. My UI is just huge on here. Um, we'll do normal difficulty, more world options for the world generator. I, yeah, I selected. Can you? Okay, hold on. Let's just let's go back here. Video settings. Uh, but, but there it is. Cute. GUI scale. We'll turn that to like seven. I want it to be legible for you guys, but I don't want it to be awful for me to, to look at things. We'll call this, um, uh, Oh, Dwight, you'll, uh, you'll never see this. Okay. Well, uh, I'll just name it. Uh, Oh, Dwight, uh, more world options for our seed. If you guys want to follow along, uh, we're going to call this, uh, mongoose Island, uh, for the world gen and, uh, default, Single biome. Wow. Who would want to live in a single biome? That's crazy. Uh, and yeah, that's good. Survival. Uh, yeah, this that's good. Great. All right, let's get in. Um, it's going to be interesting because I uh, personally I like um, I like playing on servers because you can close the game down and the game and the, and the, the world is still running. So like you can have a, like a lot of automation stuff going overnight, but the benefit with single player is that you don't have the overhead of a, of a server. And even though like single player worlds are kind of like ran on a local server now, like they're not, oh, right. Controls and shit. Mouse settings. We got to turn sensitivity down to like 25. Probably also, yep, got to turn auto jump off. These are all standard things now in Minecraft. Wonderful. Love it. Um, so, uh, I'm just going to get to, to punch in trees. Uh, apparently vanilla, uh, tools do nothing. So if we want to make tools, we have to immediately get into tinkers. Um, which is, uh, always good to know. Quest, getting wood, chop, chop. Any four logs. So, uh... I'm going to try my best to teach you guys kind of like what I'm doing here. Um, that's a very cool looking structure over there. And uh, seems like it would also be very dangerous. It looks like we have some like crates or barrels or something on, on, the, on these like little boats here. Um, we don't have a uh, vein miner, which uh, if you guys don't know what vein miner is, you can hold the tilde key uh that's the key to the left of your one on uh, your keyboard and it'll let you basically mine everything that you're looking at that is connected to the same texture block or block type or whatever so this would let us hit all the grass and everything like that but it looks like we need um 
probably a quest. So uh, this game or this this pack has the quest book uh, attached to it, which will basically guide you through the pack. So there's a getting starting started uh, section and explore exploration one. I'm getting ahead of my own brain here. And under storage, we just have normal drawers. It looks like something called small crate with a K. I've not played with that mod, so very interested in seeing that. But drawers, drawers are amazing. They are so good. Um, very easy and cheap uh, early game like mass storage where you can like just store one or two types of of items or I think up to four or something in a single drawer. Uh, but anyways, uh, you can go in here and click on these for the rewards or random award, which we got three <laughs> three X compressed stone so that's a lot of stone great basic tools and a dripper so basic tools in this mod pack vanilla tools are only good for crafting so you have to make some tinkers construct tools to get started it costs you a bit more wood at first but trust me the ability to repair and modify your tools definitely makes up for it 100 percent true we can start off with like a normal wood pickaxe and then we can just replace the axe head with like a stone one or an iron one or some sort of alloy down the road. Uh, same thing with the handle and the binding and stuff. It's a very, very cool mod. So um, I'm going to punch down the rest of these trees so we can get some of these saplings going. And then uh, we'll make our first set of uh, tinkers uh, tools and stuff. So I will be back after I'm done punching down this tree. I'm going to try to trim these episodes up to where it's not so boring to watch every single second. Unless that's what you guys want. I mean, there's probably going to be a lot of moments where I'm not talking then because I don't know how to do Let's Plays anymore. I, I, it's been years since I've done something like this. Years? Since I've played solo? I don't know. Be right back. Okay, so all done with... Uh, punching down this tree had to put down a couple of blocks so I can get up a little bit higher I I love how many saplings I got out of that that's really good uh, let's see got a lot of sticks and stuff too which is great and so one of my first goals is gonna be to flatten this island because uh, you know as much as I love jumping up and down a thousand times um i i think it's going to be pretty pretty important to flatten this place out so we're not killing ourselves uh, all the time uh we also have the quest book here that we can open up too if you guys uh need it but i always use the one that's up here and so that way i don't need to always keep this quest book on me the akashic tome though is fantastic because a lot of modded uh, or a lot of mods will come with their own manual which holy shit I didn't know that that sea noise was so loud oh my gosh I feel like my um, my ears just cleared up or something um, I might turn that down uh, it'll come with all of the manuals and you can add more manuals in here too so like if we wanted to get into um, like yeah tinkers right here we click on the tinkers book um, that'll give us the achievement encyclopedia. Fantastic. Wow, look at this. Oh, yeah, Mind Together. Mind Together is really cool. Uh, it's like a cloud saving, like, um, local server sort of thing, which is kind of neat. Um, so you can go in here and then um, just click into small tools, and it'll give you a bunch of information about the different tools that you can create. So a sword needs a small blade, a tool handle. Uh, uh, actually, it's usually a guard. I don't know why it's saying two, two, uh, tool handles. I wonder if that's some sort of bug. Um, but yeah, an axe would be a small axe blade, a tool handle, and a tool binding. Um, all the other ones seem correct. A matic. A matic is basically a pick and an axe put together, uh, which is... They're kind of like half as good as both tools, but you only need one tool for both things. Um, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Digging, chop, wait, what? It's for digging too? Chopping tool effective on wood, dirt, gravel, and sand. Oh, oh, that's for, that's for everything else. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was for picks as well. So you, we will still need a pick, 
but this could be our tool for everything else, which honestly, that's kind of cool. I, 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 I was completely off base on what a Matic was. I thought it was based off of the tool heads that you put on it, which was a pickaxe and a and an uh, axe head. So yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, but anyways, we need to make uh, the first uh, couple of uh, benches and stuff for it. So we don't want to use uh, all of our uh, oak logs here because we will need them for some of our recipes. But we're going to start off by... Oh, okay. That's not a thing. Um, to look up any sort of specific mod. Uh, again, I'm going to try to do this as like a half tutorial and half not. Um if you just put in the at symbol and then start typing the name of the mod, you'll see in that blue text there, it says Tinker's Construct. So if you really wanted to go all the way, I guess you can't put apostrophes. Um, and uh, it also helps if you spell it right. Uh, huh. Never mind. Forget what I said. Just put the beginning of the mod. That's how I normally do it. I was going to say, if, if you type out the whole thing, it'll prevent you from pulling any other mods. But... Uh, Tigger's Construct has a lot of stuff, so it's hard to tell unless you've played before, like, the useful items in here. Like, all these smelting blocks will be very useful later on. Uh, right now, not so much. Uh, these tables. <laughs> kind of wish that they hid all the, uh, all the extra ones, but you could use any wood for them. And, uh, we need to make, uh, our own, uh, crafting station. Uh, which is just our, a pattern on top of an oak log, or it looks like any of the crafting benches. Great. Uh, let, let me let me see in the book if that teaches us where it's at. Like, where where is it teaching us how to do that stuff? That that way you can reference it on your own. Uh, tier upgrades abilities. Huh. Where's the uh? Where's the one that teaches you about the tool stations and stuff? Abilities. I mean, small. It should be in small tools, right? Tier one materials. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, to clear this book, <clears throat> I think it's. Yeah, you just uh, left click in the air. No shift or anything needed. Also, nighttime. Not great. Um, I have been talking a lot, so I'm just going to get down and get to work. Um, I believe those little papers are just like this. Yes. So you'll need a good amount of these patterns, uh, for everything inside of Tinkers. Um, so feel free to make a good amount of those because you'll need those for all of the tool parts as well. Uh, what else do we need? We need a... One of these, a Tinker Station, which is uh, three of these and then four oak planks. Or uh, any planks, it doesn't have to be oak. Uh, and then we'll need a part builder, which is the same. And you can always, if you have the items in your inventory, you can just click this plus and it automatically puts them in there. Very, very, very handy. And um, these are all smart blocks. So if you have them connected, you can tab between them. Uh, to swap between them. So you can just click on one and access all of them. Uh, oh, okay. So this is just the normal crafting bench. Great. This is the one I was trying to build because when you put items in there, they stay. So uh, if you wanted to keep a recipe or something in there, uh, it, that's a very easy way to go about doing that. Uh, I don't think... Okay. Awesome. Oh, that's really good. I was a little nervous on um, how to go about uncompressing these, but that's that's amazing. Um, I'm going to make a bunch of chests, which in modern Minecraft, this is always a good way to figure out if, if you have this recipe or not. Using oak logs instead of planks will just get you four. It's just a quick way of, uh, of getting those in there. Unfortunately, I don't think that we can make furnaces out of this. No, we can't. And see that this chest is connected, we can just put our stuff in there, uh, which is great. And uh, we're going to try our best to remain as organized as possible. Uh, we'll put, we're going to get a lot of seeds, so I'm just going to put it in the big chest. Put all plant matter in there. Oh, also, uh, pro tip, 
always have a tree growing too. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn that fucking stuff down. Ambient environment, whatever. That is driving me nuts. Um. Okay. I wonder if we get anything by putting... No, you can't put it on there. Okay. Makes sense. How, why would you cook a sapling? Uh, all right. So what we need to do... Actually, with all of our stone, this is actually really good. So uh, in the part builder one, which is the one that has like the four little indents here, we can throw it in our pattern and then um, grab any sort of uh, material and put it inside of here. Oh. Maybe it has to be wood for the beginning. No. Okay, great. So we can do stone. Um, so uh, you just have to click on the on the binding that you want to do. So this is going to use the pattern to make one of these. Or wait, no. How does this work now? If I pull this out. Okay, it just uses the pattern now. That's interesting. I guess it was a balancing thing. Uh, beforehand, you would actually just make the pattern and then you'd put the pattern into this slot and it would make whatever pattern it was. So um, Tinkers is, is recently has only recently come back, um, which has uh, been great because honestly, we, we've all missed Tinkers quite a bit. Uh, and different materials will give you different uh, different benefits. So you can see if I use wood, you see that... Um, enchantment or effect or whatever called cultivated one um i think if what is it you hover over it here yeah you hover over it here you can see it's economical tool practically grows more material when repairing um i don't know really what that means uh but you'll see uh the durability attack damage mining speed all that stuff durability is 60 uh mining speed is two these are all things that would apply to whatever part it is. So this handle, which is what I'm making right now, will times our total durability by one, attack damage by one. So it basically does nothing. It's kind of a free um, material uh, that doesn't really add a whole lot to any sort of tool or anything that you make. Um, whereas if we used it for the head of a tool, so that would be um, like the ax head, small blade, like the business end of whatever you're making, uh, it would use the stats down here. Um, but you can see, uh, wood is not great, you know, but if we swap it over to stone, you can see our durability shoots up to 130 um, on the on the head side, but it it's lower on the handle side it's because it's like a heavier material. That would mean that it's, um, that it's harder to swing and, you know, so it's, uh, it, is that what durability? I mean, I guess it's more of a brittle material as a handle, a stone thing. Uh, but you see, it gives us stone bound, which your tool absolutely loves stone. The tool mines faster as it wears out, but it does less damage. So it's a better tool head than it would be for a sword. But with uh, sword or uh, stone, we get what one attack damage. With wood, we get zero. So. In that sense, as long as you keep it repaired, it would be better. Uh, for our mattock, that's what we're going to be using. We're going to make it out of stone. And for the handle, we're going to go back to wood. Um, so we're going to make two of that. And that should... Well, I mean, I guess we could make a sword right now because we're probably going to have to defend ourselves. Um, now, the recipe said two small blades, but if we go over here and click on sword it changes our recipe here and we need a small blade and two tool handles so it is true they, they there used to be a guard like a sword guard in here maybe that's for the other types of swords because there is other types of swords um so we're going to we got our small blade there and then oh shit <laughs> i made two that's okay all right so we have our parts for our tools. In fact, even our binding, um, we may want to swap to to wood, but it, it's whatever. We'll we'll be all right. Uh, and then over in the tinker station, 
we can swap over to the pickaxe one and assemble our pickaxe here. Not stick, but tool handle. And we get our first pickaxe, which will have cultivating cultivated one, piercing one, and stonebound two. So piercing one um, deals bonus damage, which attacks through armor. So um, I don't know where we get that from. I don't know where that's coming from, but maybe it's the combo of the two things. So there we go. We got our first pickaxe, and we're also going to make a mattock, uh, which is going to get knockbound or knockback one. Hitting things makes them go flying farther. I think that might be an axe thing. Um, and then we're going to make a sword with our last two things. So, uh, yeah, it looks like whatever that middle material is becomes the binding. And you can see we can make a dagger, which swings a lot faster, does less damage, and has less durability, but it swings fast. Or it can make a regular sword. And you can see the difference over here between the two. So attack damage 2.5, but attack speed is 2, where if we make it a full sword, our attack damage is now 5, but we swing slower. Um, and then upgrades and abilities we'll get to way later on. Um, okay, so we survived the night. Great. And we have our new set of tools. And we can open up our quests and finish this thing. We'll get more patterns, which is great. And then a part chest. Really glad I didn't make that ahead of time because I was going to. And this is just something that we can attach to the um, all of the blocks. It's not going to be something that we ever interact with. It'll be something that we'll throw like extra parts and stuff into. Or is it... What is the parts chest for? Because I'm not seeing an inventory for it here. It could be... Maybe we put it against this one. Oh, right. I got a Matic for this whole reason. I keep seeing the uh, the particles and freaking out. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. You know, we'll figure it out later. It's, it's it'll be it'll be handy later on. It's basically just another chest, but specifically for Tinker's items. Um, and we actually don't need this here since we have that, but that's okay. We'll we'll just grab this guy and and, and move him, and then we'll throw these patterns in here because why not? Uh, all right, so we got our tools. Uh, we need cobblestone for a furnace. So I'm just going to put that down and mine it back up. And we'll make a furnace. And check out what our next quest is. So um, the dripper apparently... We'll drip fluid on a block below it uh, and turn it into other blocks. Um, so I don't uh, see JEI for what blocks it can convert. Water bowls can be used as a small water bucket. Um, let's see. So if we check the uses, which, uh, by the way, if you just hover over an item and click U, uh, I think it actually has to be like in here. But if we look up the word dripper hit U on that you can see it's uses so U for uses R for the recipe uh, is a good way to remember uh, if we drip water on one compressed stone one X compressed stone we can get iron ore which is not bad we got a bunch of compressed stone um, we have a bunch uh, like we have <laughs> over a stack of it right now so that would be a one way for us to uh, to get early iron which is not bad. Compressed gravel will give us 1x compressed dirt, which is kind of cool. If we do it on a block or drip lava on a block of iron, uh, we'll get a cast iron block. That's cool. Diamond, 3x compressed stone. So we could compress that back and get diamond. Uh, but And 2x for gold. All good to know. So I, um, some sort of cobble gen would probably be really useful for us. Interesting. Okay. I don't really see us using that, but it's it's nice to have the option. All right, I'm gonna put this guy here, and we are going to ask it for... Actually, can I use the wood blade for fuel? No, we can't. 
think two is enough for, for one. Put two in there and then swap over the one charcoal we get. Oh, interesting. Okay, great. So that's going to get smelting. Um, and what was our other quest? Basic resource. Who needs cobblestone? Okay, so we need... We already did our eight cobblestone. We need eight gravel, dirt, sand, and dust. Dust we get by hammering sand, I believe. Uh, so we'll pick up sand and then hammer it. And that'll be the same resource. And we get some compressed cobblestone and the ultiminer. Great! Which this unlocks our um, our vein mining. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that because we want to level this place anyways. Uh, so no time like the present. Actually, I should probably focus on the actual materials that we need because... Um, The vein miner is going to make leveling this place a lot easier. And so it looks like we got some gravel down here. Come on. Oof. Okay. Uh, that's kind of scary. That little O2 meter that's popping up. That's a little scary. Okay. There's our eight gravel. Great. And now I think we just need the dust. Let's check. Yes, dust. So if we look up dust right here, recipe for dust is any of these hammers is our early game stuff. Or you could put it in a crusher or <laughs> any of these machines, which we are very far away from. So we're just going to make a uh, we'll make a stone hammer. Uh, which, by the way, you could follow a lot of these all the way. So if you hit recipe on here and you're like, oh, stone hammer right here, hit R on that and it'll give you the recipe. So two cobblestone and three sticks, um, which we don't have any cobblestone. So I'm going to get enough to make two hammers because we are going to break the hell out of these hammers. And get some more sticks. Dose hammers, great. I'll take my sticks back, thank you. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then grab our hammer and literally just break them again with the hammer and it turns them into dust. Boom. Another quest done. So we get that and we get our uh, one reward, which I think we need to hold it and right click. We learn it. And then we got to figure out whatever the hotkey is for that. So uh, whatever the trinket one is. Open trinkets GUI. I'm actually going to change this because I know that conflicts with a lot of things. And in my head, um, the semicolon is the trinkets one. So that's going to open up this. And no one ever uses that key. So, And then we select which one we want. We'll get these randomly. But for you to have multiple, you need to use experience to unlock them, and it gets very expensive. But it's also super good to have a lot of these going. So what does this mean? Now we can go up to, say, this wood right here. If I hold tilde, you'll see that it select, selected all of the connected oak uh, logs. Uh, it'll even jump diagonally, too. So like if this leaf block here was oak, it would jump over to that one. Um, and it'll tell you on the top left too, mining six blocks. Uh, this will consume the appropriate amount of hunger and durability. This is not the same as if you just mined one block. Uh, same thing if we do like this grass. Um, and depending on your tool, durability and hunger level will depend on basically how far out it'll mine. Uh, I believe because of our stone tool, we can only do about 64 blocks or this could be the maximum. It's just going to be use a lot of our durability. We'll do the dirt here in a second. I want to just take down these trees. So there we go. And then we'll take down this one doing the same thing. And that's it. Very, very, very handy. So um, uh, same thing with like clearing, uh, clearing grass. Uh, I, I personally hate 
how cluttered the grass makes everything look, but if you just hold this, there you go. You can break a ton of it all at once, but then you also have a ton of seeds. Um, and actually, we'll get uh, we'll get a another set of oak trees planted here. Um, and so you can see my stone mattock has taken a lot of damage so far. We have 75 left. We could still mine 64 blocks. Uh, I'm going to do it to this dirt right here or this grass because I'm on dirt. It's not going to mine that one right there. And you can see how much damage that took. That took, I think, 64 durability off of this because I think it's one per block. Um, I also took a really heavy hit on my hunger. Um, but you can see all the grass blocks that were there were taken out. Uh, you can do this with any tool. You can even do it without a tool. Uh, this will just take your hunger away. Um, you just need to make sure that whatever you're doing it on and it's, it's item that you want to make sure that you have the right tool level for it. But for the hammer, if we wanted to do this all dust, you just do it like that. Um, and now all that sand turned into dust. We're going to be using this later on, so I don't mind grabbing a good amount of it right now. And um, we're going to use all this dirt and stone and stuff to basically expand our island or flatten it out. Um, but yeah, that's good. So we're going to open this up, complete that. We got a bunch of gravel for it, which is great. The auto hammer. Um, no longer shall you spend your time hammering away all the countless blocks with the new and powerful auto hammer TM. Uh, it's as simple as two chests. The auto hammer will automatically push and pull to blocks next to the input and output slot. The blue slot is the input and the red is the output. Interesting. So if we click on this. Uh, these are all the valid ones that you can make. Um, we're definitely not doing the netherite one right now, but the iron one, uh, let's see. It still requires some gold and some iron. So we're a little ways away from this. Um, given some time, uh, I think we could probably do this. And I think uh, the fact that it auto pushes and pulls is good. So we need um, two iron. Auto hammer. For that, two more, so four total, two gold, a couple redstone, and just glass, um, which not bad. Uh, but for right now, what we need to actually do is uh, make a sluice. But first, actually, we need to repair our mattock. So to repair your tools, you just need the material that the head is made out of. So since ours is made out of stone, we can just grab stone put one piece in and we see we get I think what is that um, 65 durability back so two pieces will fully repair our tool easy as that uh, this does only work with tinkers tools so we can't like repair other stuff um, but that's fine Ooh, real quick how do we get wool probably cotton seeds I would assume string cotton balls yeah so, um, I don't think, no, that doesn't make, uh, that. I think a vanilla hoe should still work. Can we make it out of stone? No. Probably needs to be cobblestone. Also, our charcoal is done. Wonderful. What was I doing? Oh, I was making a hoe. <laughs> it's like, why, why did I make this? Uh, this item is for crafting only. Oh, shoot. Um, let's see. Is there a tinker's way of tilling the ground? Not 100% sure. I thought that the, the mattock would do it. The comma? Mowing down plants and shearing animals. Right-click, harvest crops, and replant crops. Okay. Hmm. I'm just going to make it because it's cheap. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, that, that, that solves that mystery. Um, wonderful. All right. We need... a. Decent amount of sticks. 
because we need to light this place up because uh and if you hit f7 that's going to open up uh this little light grid basically yellow means uh during the day you don't have a problem with mob spawning but during the night you will uh red means that they can spawn at any point because it is dark enough uh for mobs to spawn in and uh, I will have to replace these as I flatten this place out. But once it's flat, it's also going to be a lot easier to light. But as of right now, this is going to do us just fine. I'm not being super precise. I just want to make sure that the majority of the island is, is lit up. Uh... Like those little corners, I'm not too worried about because technically we probably want to kill some stuff because, you know, resources and all that. But um, I'll put one on top of here just so it's a little bit nicer to look at things up here. And hopefully we don't have the mod where if you eat the same food over and over, it degrades in, uh, in nutrition because that would be a real pain in the butt. <laughs> um... Okay, so we need a way of creating farmland. Uh, so, okay. Oh, you actually have to craft it. Interesting. Okay, so this should work. Oh, we turned in all that dirt. It took all that those items. No, it didn't. I'm dumb. Big dummy man. Here we go. Farmland. Oh, wait. One. What? Okay. Let's make this scythe. Right? Let's make this thing. Uh, yeah, this thing. So it needs a small blade, tool handle, and a tool binding. Okay. Uh, so what we have, technically, we already have a sword blade, but I'm going to make it out of stone. Sword. Um, in fact, uh, I'm just going to make the whole thing out of stone. Stone comma. All right, so if I right click, okay, that's how we do it. Great. See, we learned. And uh, this looks like a, an all right place to create some farmland because we need to plant some cotton seeds so we can um, get some wool and make a bed so we can skip the, the scary night. Is it? I think it goes four, so we'll, we'll make it uh There we go. That's that's good enough for right now. I don't think I've ever used this Tinker's tool. I don't know if it's new to this version or not. Peanut seeds. There you go. Peanuts. Let's go up here and hope that we have uh, some cotton seeds. We have three. Great. What else do we got? Um, poppy. We have regular old wheat seeds. We'll plant that. We got a carrot. Hops, rice, onion, cabbage, coffee beans. You know, you know I'm going to put some coffee beans down there. If you know me, you know that this is, uh, that's a guarantee. We'll put our cotton over here, wheat, carrot, <gasps> potato. Very nice. Okay. So we'll have to just wait on those guys because uh, we can't speed them up like we can our trees. <clears throat> Which, just like Skyblock, I think, yeah, we have this uh, ability where if you just crouch near it, it'll accelerate, <clears throat> tick accelerate those. So you can get wood very, very easily. Um, which we're going to need a decent amount of because, again, I want <laughs> I want a lot of coal or charcoal, I guess. Plus, uh, early game food. We got we get apples out of these, so 
Easy peasy. Put that in there. And then that'll get us a bunch more. So, <clears throat> I think uh, this is where I'm going to call it for episode one, guys. Uh, I am going to work on episode two immediately after this because I got time. Uh, so, why not? Uh, was it this guy I just placed? Yeah, you're better suited down here. And um, we're going to get to sluicing all of our dust and gravel and stuff and hopefully um, a bed so we can skip the night and not be so scared. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, hit that like button and uh, maybe even check out the pack. Anyways, I'll catch you guys for the next one.